it is Susie and I have some fun little journals I want to share. These are some little tiny journals. They measure um, two and a half by two. Um, I actually got my inspiration off of a couple of ladies on YouTube. I cannot remember their names but I will link their um, videos in the description box. I had um, posted a few videos over at Sophie's Notes when I was kind of checking out the tiny journals and actually one of the ladies over there even made the small one the one by one and a half and that is just too small for me uh, my fingers just will not do that little tiny tiny so um, these are about as tiny as I can get but um, anyway they were a lot of fun and I just want to um, show you the insides. Um, this here was um, I believe Bella is it Bella Rose from Prima. It's an old an old old one. Um, I actually had the 3x4 cards and some 4x6 cards and that is what I used for these. Uh, this one like any paper bag journal does have the little uh, inside open there. Uh, these are some little bags. I don't even remember where I got them from. I've had them for a very long time. They're just some really tiny little bags that I've just folded in half there. Here is some vintage trim that I used. I thought it matched the color so well. And then here is a little journaling spot here. It just sits in that little tiny envelope or um, pocket. And there's some trim I have sewed across the top. Here is one of the little midget glassine bags. These I do have in the shop, and that's what these are. These are the midget size that I use. They're perfect in these little tiny journals. Um, here is just a little journaling card. And then I did some stitching there. And... Here is just a little a little pocket here, a little tuck with a little piece of journaling paper. And another little pocket with some trim sewed on that. <clears throat> and then the other half of the little glass scene. I've just used some of the paper. It looks like Poppy, well, it might not be poppies. It's just the colors of poppies, but it's not. Some kind of roses. And it just sets in the little glassine bag. And then I sewed a little trim there together and glued it on, glued it on. Some more trim sewed across the top. Here is a little pocket that has just a, a little... Um, booklet that says love is beautiful and it's just a little tiny journaling book and then here is some more of that trim and that is the little book it's a little chunky book <laughs> They were really fun to make. Uh, this is the second one I made here. I've got some of that um, really pretty um, uh, little uh, lace. I've just cut that out of. And then I have just, this is Tim Holtz paper here. The, um, oh gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. Isn't that awful? It's, it's my favorite that he did. Um, menagerie or... No, I can't remember now. But anyway, um, it's really, really fun paper. I absolutely love it. It also has the little tuck for you to get in and tuck something in there. These are the little miniatures um, pieces that you can buy of Tim Holtz. And I just used um, that for the uh, little uh, band there to slip that in. Here is a little envelope, a little tiny envelope, 
and I've used one of the little Tim Holtz clips on it to clip it on, but it's just a little tiny envelope for journaling. And then I just draped it over the over the page there. Put the clip on it. I just sewed a little bit of um, trim there. Here is the glassine bag again that has a little journaling spot. And I sewed a little lace on it to stick out. Some little decorative stitch there on that page. Here's another little tuck spot that has a little piece of journaling paper there. Another little piece from the little um, ephemera. It's just little uh, tiny ephemera that you can get in the pack there. And here are a couple more little pieces from that same. And I've just put it in a little piece of ribbon that I made a pocket out of. Oops. A little more decorative stitch there. Some just little collage there. Oh, that's my glassine bag. And then a little piece of uh, journaling paper there. A little more lace stitched on. And then another little, just a little tuck with a little envelope. A little envelope in it again. There. So this is the second little journal that I made. Those are super fun, super fun. We are actually having a potluck swap over on Sophie's Notes uh, this month, and um, these are going in that in that swap. So um, there is a little Tim Holtz image there that's cut out of that same uh, paper. It's not menagerie, but it's something memento or something. I wish I could remember. Um, I did sew all my spines, is what I did with them. Same way it does have, you can put the little paper on the inside. This one here, I added a little, um, dictionary page to. Here is just a collage with a little cheesecloth. And some more dictionary page. Here is a glassine with a little trim glued on it. Um, one of the little tags from that same pack. A little place for journaling there. Another little fabric pocket or linen pocket I guess. And this is just a little tag and a little tag. Little tiny tags. And then I've just used a little bit of those uh, uh, Tim Holtz botanicals there. And another little collage there with a little cheesecloth. And this is just a little, I made a little tiny uh, flower out of cheesecloth there. And it's kind of a little tuck. I just backed it in a little ribbon there, a little greenish, jadeish looking ribbon. And then here is another half of that uh, glassine, a little bit of journaling paper, and a little Tim Holtz ephemera there. And then I've just stitched on a little fabric there. And another one of the little birds from Tim Holtz. And there's a piece of that ribbon I did some decorative stitch on. And that is the end of my little book. So anyway, guys, I'm telling you, these are so fun. They're so tiny, but they're they're just fun. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.